we can understand that as I said, ideally speaking, there could be a context where spiritual experts are like uh, through examination seeing, oh, this student is at this level of understanding and that level of understanding of the scriptures. And but for the most part, uh, our, we're giving recognition to uh, devotional tendencies. Srila Gurudev himself, he liked the, uh, this cricket expression, an all-rounder means, and, and cricket, the sport, that's someone who can, who's good at everything, all the different positions. And he himself, Srila Govinda Maharaj, was a perfect example of that. I've seen it on his veranda in Calcutta with many people there, many activities going on. He's composing Sanskrit or Bengali poetry. You would think, oh, you would need to go into a room, quiet, isolation. But because his unique uh, abilities, his composing there, giving an instruction here. So, and he can do all different types of seva. So he liked that. We know we may have a tendency towards specialization, but we should remember, even Professor Senyal, we hear when he first came to Gaudiamat, would sweep the stairs. Because he thought, this is Radharani's major domo. Any domestic seva is radhadasyam. This is our goal. I want to do this. Right? To sweep. Uh, it's Radharani is directing all the seva. If, if you get a sweeper position from her, how exalted. That's his thinking. And he is the head examiner of PhDs from a university and ends up writing so many books and, and Gaudiya Mat. But still, this is his vision. And we don't see the Braja Gopis in Vrindavan engaged in, in uh, Shastric study. And, but they know everything. But their posing is that, oh, we, some Brahm, we heard something. <laughs> Madhu Mangal is a Brahmin. Remember, Krishna is a Vaisha, a cowherd. And his friends are all cowherds. So Madhu Mangal is their Brahmin advisor. <laughs> but usually, Krishna wants some advice from him, like how to deviate. <laughs> because he knows what all the rules and all the intricacies are. So Krishna needs some support. And so Madhu Mangal is always there to like, well, in the so-and-so Purana, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Braja Gopi say, oh, I heard in one of those Puranas it also says another thing. <laughs> we heard that from some Brahmins. <laughs> and then they talk about books that don't exist. 